I love riding in the early morning. Hello YouTube, Region Ratch Rider here. Uh, wow, that's actually a convoy of cars. Uh, it's another glorious weekend. Hope today finds everyone in a great mood. Hope everything's going okay. Uh, things are looking better for me. Um, my rear light is supposed to be coming in this week. Um, and my badges are already at um, uh, Bloomington Harley. So they're going to mail those off to me. Um, hopefully soon. And um, then there, our business will be done. I was thinking the other day, when, you know, I was talking to my wife. And you now I was like, at one time in my life this year I was dealing with getting this bike back my dad's health my mom had just got diagnosed with stage 4 breast cancer uh, my job was I hadn't got my new job yet and uh, I was uh, having trouble getting one of my main medications because it was uh, there's a shortage so it wasn't my insurance or me not having money to pay for it um, I couldn't get it even if I gave them you know a thousand dollars or five thousand dollars for that matter so I had you know my own health thing going on at the same time so all five of those things were going on in my life at the same time and all of them were up in the air I didn't I you know I still don't have a resolution about my parents health but um, at least some of those you know have been finally resolved so that was a that was a lot of stress on the old region rats uh uh person you know and i'm I, you know i made it through <laughs> i'm still here still kicking um but yeah you know and i'm just grateful that uh, you know i have uh, a supportive wife and uh you now i got good friends that I can talk to who can you know always good for a, a dirty joke to lighten my mood so uh yeah um I'm happy that I made it through but that actually wasn't the the point of my video Ooh. uh I'm gonna pause for a minute while I'm at this very long light this light takes forever past that <laughs> uh, no I want to talk about um, if you're a if you're a biker do you have favorite routes to ride in um, which sounds kind of like a mundane topic but for me it's very important because I live in Northwest Indiana uh, which man I really do not like being behind this truck but to either get behind this truck or get behind that old guy in the Buick Lucerne. I think I'll get behind the Lucerne. Uh, it's either, you know, because I live in Northwest Indiana, there's only a real select list of uh, roads that you can take that don't just suck. Um, I happen to be, as weird as it sounds, on one of them right now. I was actually... Uh, my last video was on the same leg of this. This is like my standard motorcycle route. And for those who are familiar with the area, I take I-65 north to where it ends at uh, 12 and 20. And then 12 and 20 break off uh, right past. So then I get on 12 and 20. And then 12 and 20 break off uh, right past uh, a McDonald's and Gary um, if you the, it used to be different but the way they have it now um, you kind of have to know where it is because see like that no parking sign it's literally like that big of a sign that says 12 that way turn left so if you don't know it you're gonna miss it um, but anyway I take 12 all the way to 212 which is what we're on right now and then I take 212 to I think it's 421 that then turns into 2 
and then I take two all the way around into Illinois that becomes Illinois one and I take it all the way back to Fussway and come home it's like a close to a 200 mile jaunt I think it's like 107 180 something miles total close to 200 just a quick uh, you know a couple hours to get out on the bike um, you know, this traffic is merciless goodness gracious me I had like I was dealing with like no traffic and I was like you know what I think it's a good time to record a motor block and then uh, all of a sudden boom traffic all over the place so see there's 421 so anyway uh, but that's like it <laughs> that's pretty much in this area like the only motorcycle road I can take and every year without fail there's construction on some part of it now um, when I first learned how to ride and I first found this road uh, there was never any traffic on it uh, or construction anyway um, the road wasn't you know especially too wasn't in you know the best shape but it was in decent shape and uh, you know all of a sudden about six years ago they the state decided every year they're gonna rip up two in some different spot in this area and they don't just rip it up they close the road so my like favorite route has been detoured uh, many or for the past six years this is the sixth year sixth or seventh year that they've still had construction on it so as a consequence a lot of times you know I have to take like half a day trips to go down you know south to at least this the close to the center part of the state to find something decent to ride and it sucks um, thankfully uh, I don't think I'm gonna have too much too many more years of this because my wife and I are gonna be moving hopefully next year uh, we're gonna put the we're working on you know doing whatever changes we have to this year so that we can sell it next year there's like one or two things left that we need to do I want to uh, seal the basement uh, one more time and get a new water heater uh, fix up our yard um, our landscaping isn't Jesus look at all these cars our landscaping is kind of not it's kind of fallen by the wayside a little bit this year unfortunately so got a lot of weeds I got to take care of oh you dildo don't do this to me so anyway um, yeah so when we move I mean where we're thinking of moving is like um, in right now in Michigan on a lake somewhere with the uh, not necessarily within the proximity of Grand Rapids but at least that latitude latitude is the up and down up our uh, uh, horizontal one right longitude is right and left I think that's right whatever the whatever the horizontal one latitude I'm gonna go with latitude so around that latitude <laughs> um, which will put her not too far away from her folks um, and for me it will uh, oh sorry I forgot to wait with that guy uh, for me it'll be just far enough away from so many damn people um, and into the pretty part of Michigan it's like the lower like Detroit side I wouldn't call that you know, that's like this um, but the upper part of Michigan is just absolutely gorgeous so um, it'll be close enough that I can hop on my bike and actually have you know multiple routes uh, I know the sales manager of that Harley Davidson dealership he used to work at my dealership in, in uh, Calumet Harley where I bought almost all my Harleys before they were shut down so uh, yeah oh. and this guy's gonna block me of course thanks jerk so this is why I hate this area now there's too many people here and they all drive like buttholes anyway <laughs> I'm just scrambling I guess um, what was I oh yeah motorcycle route so 
I've been planning out all the different uh, routes that I could take in Michigan, and I'm so, you know, this isn't going to happen for at least a year, but I got to be honest, I'm very excited about having so many, so many great uh, routes to take. Um, it's going to be such a change from what I have to deal with now, but anyway, um, those were my thoughts for today. I was going to talk about something a little more poignant, but I had like two videos in a row of like talking about like serious life things, and I decided that that was just going to, you know, I'm in a, I'm in a good mood, I'm in a good place in my life, and, uh, I just decided to record like a happy video and talk about different motorcycle roads by my house and, you know, when I move, the cool motorcycle roads that I'm going to get to see. So, those will be on this channel because I don't plan on not shooting motovlogs anymore. So, uh, well, I wonder what that is for. Anyway, this is Region Rat Rider signing out. I hope everyone has a great week. Um, and a great rest of the weekend. I'm not sure when I'm going to post this. This is, uh, I kind of, I got to be honest, I'm a little bit tired after that wedding. It was a nice wedding. Um, my nephew's in uh, the military and so is his wife. So there are a lot of military folks there. A lot of thank you for your service <laughs> messages I gave out to a lot of different people. So um, it was nice. It was nice to see somebody, so many people from our armed services at a wedding so that was pretty cool um but anyway uh, i hope to get this out uh, by tonight but we shall see it may it may end up going out one day i don't know but this is Rage rider signing out i hope everyone has a great week or rest of the weekend depending on when this goes out and i will talk to all of you later Bye bye